going to descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ are going to rise first. Then we that are alive and remain shall be caught up in the air to meet the Lord in the clouds. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. First Thessalonians 4, 16 through verse 18. What a fitting selection of scriptures to begin this day that Jesus was raised from the dead over 2,000 years ago. Come on, somebody. What a word to say. Because somebody say there's another resurrection going to happen. Oh, there's a day coming where the resurrection and the rapture is going to happen at the same time. The dead in Christ are going to get up. Amen. And then those of us that are alive and remain are going to be caught up. And we're going to all get to see him coming in the clouds with great power and glory. Luke 21 and verse 27. Lord, we praise you today. You got up and we know, Lord God, one day we're going to be caught up because you got up. That's our hope and we give you glory. Christ in us, the hope of glory. Colossians 1 verses 27. Oh, praise God and Lord. We say to our arms be resurrected. Come on. We lift up our hands in the sanctuary and we bless the Lord. Psalms 134 verses 2. Oh, come on. We say to our voice be resurrected. Come on. Shout unto God with the voice of triumph. Psalms 47 and 1. Lord, we lift up. We sound up. We let it out and up your praise. Hallelujah. Because Acts 13 and 30 said in God hath raised him from the dead. He's alive and he's alive forevermore and he has the keys of death and of hell. Revelation 1 8 and we give you praise today Lord and we celebrate as we commemorate and remember not only your resurrection but your death, your burial and your resurrection. Hallelujah. God do you be the glory. Do you be the praise. You know, one of the sounds of praise and the lyrics of praise that's going to be heard in heaven for eternity, Revelation 5, 14, it says the people around the throne of God are going to worship the Lamb. Somebody say Jesus. And it says they're going to worship him who liveth forever more. Whoa. That's one of the reasons in heaven they can say hallelujah, worthy, praise you. Come on somebody because they know he'll never be crucified again. He'll never be buried again. He'll never have to die again. He lives forever. Oh, somebody give him praise this morning. Oh, we can go ahead and sound on earth like they already sound in heaven. They're praising him because they know he lives forevermore. He'll never die again. Oh, praise God. Let us do the same today on this resurrection Sunday morning. Woo, hallelujah, 2024. To God be the glory. Now, I brought out a chair. You know, you heard that song, you that were here, or you that's been watching on your way here, or you that's just watching and ain't coming here. Either way, I brought a chair in, and that song, I, I was coming through the foyer in the back back there, or not the foyer, the foyer's in the front. I was coming through the youth room in the back. I'm going back and forth, y'all. <laughs> Hold on. Amen. I, and when I was coming through, amen, the youth room, I saw one of these chairs and I could hear that song being played. Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. Ain't no grave gonna hold my body down. When I hear that trumpet, When I hear that trumpet sound, it sound a whole lot better than that. I'm gonna get up out of the ground. Ain't no grave. Yeah, I'm gonna hold my body down. And I begin to sing. Ain't no chair. Hallelujah. In here, gonna hold my body down. Ain't no chair. Somebody saying, yeah. Gonna hold my body down. Cause when I hear that trumpet sound, come on, toot your own horn. I ain't got enough breath to blow that one right now. I'm gonna get up out of my chair. Cause he's about to come and we're gonna be caught up to meet him in the air. Oh, somebody look at your neighbor. Say, if you're risen with Christ, 
Live like you're risen. Rise and shine. Your light has come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Isaiah 60 verses 1. Somebody say, if you are risen. Tell them, say, if you're risen with Christ. Seek those things which are above. Where Christ is seated at the right hand of God the Father. Colossians 3 verses 1 verse 2 said, Don't set your affections, your passions on things of this earth, but on things above. Somebody say, we're supposed to be risen also. Risen with Christ. If you believed on him that was born of a virgin, crucified without sin, took our sins in his body on that tree, 1 Peter 2, 24, was buried, and then three days later, not just some spiritual event, but literally and physically was raised from the dead, who ascended, amen, 40 days after that, back to the right hand of the Father, and is soon to come again. Somebody say, if you were risen with him... It's because you have believed on him who is risen. You can't believe he's alive and stay dead spiritually. Come on, somebody. You can't really follow him that lives and live any different than living involved. Somebody say, you won't have dead religion. You'll be alive. Oh, glory to God. You know when 1 Thessalonians 4, 17 said, us that are alive and remain. Remain a lot of times is used for a word for remains. Things that are dead. But some ought to say alive and remain. When Jesus comes back, he's not coming back for a dead, cold, chilled girlfriend that occasionally dates him every now and then. He's coming back for a bride. Come on, somebody that's alive, that's hot. Somebody say heat rises. Job 5 and 7 said his sparks rise up. Oh, somebody shout, we're here to talk about a rising and a resurrection. Somebody shout when the rapture and the resurrection of the body of Christ, the resurrection is the dead saints rising. Amen. The rapture, amen, is the live and remain saints. That's us. Amen. Going to be called up to meet him in there. They're going to be raised up, but we're going to get called up. Look at somebody say, if you are alive in him, if you're risen with him, tell him, say, you still get caught up about getting caught up. Why is that preacher act so caught up? Because I'm still excited about getting caught up. Yeah. Hallelujah. But somebody say us that are alive and remain. He didn't say the dead in Christ going to rise first and then just those that are alive. He didn't say those that just remain. He said those that are alive and remain. Somebody shout, we're not just remaining. We got to be alive. Somebody saying, if you're following him, you alive in the spirit. Ain't nobody got to coach you. Amen. Into a shout, into a faith fit of praise and glory to him. I'm not shouting because he's going to be raised. I'm still shouting because he has been raised. Over 2,000 years ago, and friend, the event of all time, is about to take place globally. Globally, he's going to catch away his saints. Look at somebody beside you this morning and say, ready or not, he's coming. Romans 10 and 9 said, if you'll confess with your mouth, somebody say, the Lord Jesus, say it with me, the Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart, God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Look at him and say, you can't be saved from your sins if you don't believe Jesus was raised from the dead. Somebody say, until you believe Believe. He's raised from the dead. He, Jesus, the Savior, cannot be your Lord. But go around and shake somebody's hand this morning. Tell them, say, welcome to the living presence of Jesus. And tell them, say with me, say these words. Come on, somebody. Tell them, say, you must believe he's alive if he's your Lord. Come on, tell them, say, if he's your Lord, you must believe he's alive. Oh, go around and shake somebody's hand. Yeah. Come on, if he's going to be your Lord, you got to believe he's alive. Yes, hallelujah. If you got a burden to heavy, you can leave it at the cross. If your lonely heart is breaking, call upon the one who was wounded for the lost. So 